Hi guys, Gundam Mafia back here, and today we're doing the review of the Metal Galuluman. Look at that. Before we do, let me show you, of course, what he comes with in that. First things first, you get this cool, cool, cool sort of how to make him with a lovely picture of that. Metal Galuluman, I'll be telling you. Every picture of him. Obviously, this is so you like how to make him as all the figure boy stuff does. Cool picture of him there. That's what he does. That takes a while though to do, but there he is. It. And then he also comes with this very cool. Move that away a minute. This very cool box. You can see there's a picture of him on the front doing that cool pose, which is very cool. More pictures of him there. Jump in there. Metal Guru Looks really cool. Picture of him in there, the same thing. I'm not out the fight and a couple more pictures of him there. There you don't wanna do. Obviously no glue required, course from Bandai and the price and just the same again on that. Right now we're doing the box, let's get into the figure. Let me tell you something bad about him first though. Right, this one is really cool. It's awesome. There's hardly anything wrong with him, but there are one or two little niggles that niggle me when I was making him. First thing first, if then if all these are bits here are stickers. And that is what really annoyed me. They ain't stickers. And that ain't a sticker, so why can't they do them not stickers? Because that took me ages to put them all on. And as you can see, that bit's appealing and all that. And, um, yeah. Why can't they just put them on as normal red pieces or give you instructions to paint them? Because it is really annoying. However, I don't paint mine. I um, leave mine as they are. Because I just think it's almost better. And the other bad thing I have is his nose bit. His nose bit keeps falling off. As you can see. Look, so the red nose bit keeps falling off. Apart from that, there's hardly anything else wrong with him. Let's get on to the art. Let's get on to his articulation. I'll see you got the lovely blue. I love the blue on him. Lovely blue head. As you can see when I shut it, the mouth opens. And the mouth shuts. You get a little bit of movement left and right. You can go up and down, but not too far because this bit here just does not move. And that is another bad thing about. I wish they put this on a ball bed, a ball peg, because that just does not move. So you can't really, you know, move the neck around. And again, that's a little niggle. It doesn't ruin the figure and all. Again, you got a movement here. You can go in the waist that way you do that way you can bend that way you can bend that way it's really really cool mine coming apart um do the front legs you can bend the front legs back i have to move these out of the way and then you can go all the way up with the front legs all the way back down with the front legs you got a cool ball bag on the paws you can do like cool on the paws you got a lovely bend in the front foot look so be like he's kicking you, yeah, which is again cool. It's so the same one on the side. Look, front ball bed goes up, pull bed goes back, foot goes up, foot goes down. The, you do have to move these out of the way though if you want to get these things. Um, these are on like a little thing, as you can see, they go up and they go down, they don't go left and right. Sadly, um, the missiles just stay in there. It'd be good if the missiles came out, but they don't. Um, the back, move to the back feet. You've got a thing in the leg that goes up, but only that far. And then back, like, that far. You can move the paw and paw again, and you've got this in there. Again, same on the other foot. Um, this tail is on a ball bag, you know, from there. So it's delayed a bit. You can go up. You can go down. And again, the only trouble with this figure is he's very easy to break and he feels so... I know he's a figure, so don't go like too mad with him in that. But you can also take these wings off and put him in the mouth, as you can see here. 
The only reason I'm not going to do that on this figure with you is because that takes around a good 10 minutes to actually do that. Um, I do like the blue on this. As you can see, look at the blue. It stands out really, really cool on the South Vista White. The white bits there stand out good. Um, I like the poor bits there. There's a bit under there that stands out really red. If you really wanted to, as you can see, you can stand this guy up. Up like that. Look. So it's like he's standing up on two feet. See? You can actually stand this guy up on two feet. So you'd be like a jumping pose. So he's coming like out of speed sort of thing like you see. That's really cool. And that's really it's so like fun side when you do that. Which is really cool. You can do that as well. So you like take it off, put him on a stand, put the thing in his mouth and have him like charging at like wall grain and all that, which is really good. And you can, he's really good at bending. You can do lots of articulation with this thing. Um, yeah, definitely. If you're a Digimon fan, pick this guy up. He's definitely, definitely worth the price range. You can get him for like 20, 25. I got him for you. can get him around about that mark from Ombi Links Japan. They're not here to sponsor me. That's where I get all my stuff from. Really good. Um, if you like this video, obviously subscribe. The next figure that will be coming up on this film will be a Wolverine. So definitely, if you want to see that, obviously subscribe. Put in the comments below what's your favorite Digimon, what series is your favorite Digimon, and why? Why your favorite Digimon? And tell me again, obviously. Now mark us out, and I'll just see you soon. Come, gun them out.